What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be the recap for Prelo Liars Original Sin Season 1 Episode 2. Episode 2 starts at a house party where Imogen is shown drinking but it's revealed that this is a six months ago occurrence so it's a flashback. She has fun with Kelly and Karen during this flashback at this party. Tabby is at this party as well and so is Noah. Imogen tells Greg that Karen wants drinks but they start making out and Kelly sees them. Um, Karen won't listen to Imogen when she says Greg came on to her. Imogen walks home drunk and then we jump to the present time where the girls are still talking after Karen got them in trouble. Imogen says she has something that could leak that would ruin Karen. Farron asks to see the video Imogen has. The girls all go to Imogen's house because that's where the video is. Now, honestly, again, I love how their hatred of Karen is what brought them together. Whereas in the in the original show, Allison kind of brought all these girls together because of her manipulation tactics. So at dinner, they all take a look at the video. They also can contemplate if they should show it to teach her a lesson. The video is only teased to us regarding regarding her being very drunk in the video. We don't get to see it yet. Farron goes home and all the other girls too as well to talk to their parents about the school trouble from early today. Tabby, honestly, she's a very likable character, but but it's only two episodes and she keeps delivering far too many bits of dialogue related to movies for me um the girls all get anonymous text from a revealing that they were behind the trouble at the school not karen the girls are convinced it's karen though <laughs> the girls all have a video chat where they commit to revealing the tape because of texts they believe are from karen which we know they're wrong about next day at school karen talks to tabby and imogen about the screening tabby is planning to have and they basically knew she'd be tricked into coming like they wanted her to Noah talks to Sean in the library about him attending an event he's not wanting to go to. Tabby agrees to go to the dance with a boy. Then we jump to the to, to the theater where the Jordan Peele event is about to start. The unknown unknown figure is shown watching the girls at the theater. The Karen video starts playing at the theater where Karen mocks Greg for having a tiny penis. Karen runs out and the girls look on satisfied at their work. Kelly follows after Karen while Get Out starts playing. So the girls regroup outside the theater and gaslight themselves into, into being confident about what they just did because now Karen is, sh I'll say, shook. Tabby goes back into work and Chip is being talked to by Wes because he found out about the video played before the movie. Tabby begs Wes not to fire her or Chip. She seems uncomfortable after he makes more comments and says he'll give her a ride home again. Again, Wes is, he's, he's nasty. <laughs> Imogen has a flashback to her mom telling her not to hang out with Karen because she's a mean girl and she doesn't want Imogen to be like that. But that's exactly what uh Imogen is starting to be like she's starting to be just like that Imogen meets up with Karen at the cemetery after she received a text from Karen she explains how she got the video and Karen reveals that she's that she lost her virginity to Greg and that's why it hurts so much to have it leaked like that Imogen tells Karen she shouldn't have done all these terrible things the girls think she did and Karen denies it because she actually didn't do them as we know Imogen storms off from the cemetery but Karen is being watched by A. Tabby and Imogen walk to school the next day and reveal they met in the cemetery or no Tabby and Imogen walk to school the next day and she reveals they met in the cemetery because Karen and her did that a lot I guess when they were friends Farron has trouble in her in her ballet class and Henry asks her to the dance. Karen goes to the principal, but he thinks she's Kelly initially. Karen says she doesn't want to run for spirit queen anymore and she admits to everything that she actually didn't do. She says she's ready for her punishment and Imogen deserves to be queen. It's revealed that the Karen we saw earlier was Kelly because Karen didn't even go to school. Kelly is planning to get revenge for Karen at the party. Sounds like they are going to carry her, honestly. They wanted Imogen to win by default so, they, so that she'd attend the event without a doubt. Imogen tells the girls that Karen dropped out and took responsibility for everything. They talk in the bathroom about Imogen's guilt over the video leak and remind her that her mom wouldn't be upset because they all did it together, not just Imogen. The girls decide to go to the dance together. Noah's at the community service and Karen's dad intimidates her about keeping her mouth shut about seeing him doing that sexual misconduct the other day. She says she wants to go to the dance and the sheriff lets her anklet off for the night. The girls get ready for the dance. Imogen says she's gonna apologize to Karen and they all walk into the dance together. Imogen finds Karen, but it ends up being Kelly. Kelly agrees to, Kel to tell Karen Imogen is looking for her. Minnie gets asked by Ash to come outside the party to smoke a little. Noah takes Sean to a classroom to make out a little. Then she reveals she thought Sean was going to break up with her after she went to juvie. We are then shown what we believe to be A walking into the building while everyone dances in the gym. The principal introduces Imogen so she can go receive her crown as queen. Imogen seems to be overwhelmed by it all but goes on anyway. 
Imogen is told to look up once the girls spot Karen and A pushes Karen to her death. They all get a text saying, one bully down, five to go. Keep your mouth shut or you're next. And the episode ends. Now, going off of the first two episodes, I will just say this in this recap. Now that I have some space to talk about the first two episodes, I have enjoyed the first two so far. I think I've made that pretty clear going off of my review. If you've already watched that, because I've already seen the first five episodes, I'm liking the direction we're going as far as how we're getting answers, how the puzzle and the mystery is being put to the forefront. I like how we have a lot of great chemistry between our, our five liars. Uh, I like the little references to Allison and Courtney, the twin concept. I, I get people might think that the twin concept and twins in general, they're tired of twins in recent TV shows. But it, regardless of that, in respect to what Sarah Shepard did with her, her novels, I think so far Original Sin has treated the twin concept a lot better than the OG show. Uh, again, I appreciate how the mystery is currently in the forefront and it's just balancing out all these other things around the mystery. We still have their romance lives. We still have all these other things going on, but the mystery is at the forefront. You're getting different bits to the puzzle almost every episode. There's certain things that you're finding out about Angela Waters, who's connected to Angela Waters and getting they're not wasting any time really honestly getting into some very impactful deaths as well i mean starting off with images mom being the very i, I guess i'll say very second death because technically angela <laughs> was the first death but per the current timeline starting off by kicking it off with imogen losing her mother now she's pregnant you know there's so many different things going on that make imogen a very sympathetic character and bailey madison again if you've heard my review Bailey Madison, she's killing it. Or if you follow me on Twitter, I think that Bailey Madison is giving the best performance at, out of the five girls. But my favorite liar is Tabby, mostly because of her love for horror films, her aspirations as being a film director. I just think that Tabby does have a little bit more cringy dialogue than the rest of them. Um, and I think they can tone that back a bit. But so far, these first two episodes have been amazing. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.